It's a Friday and it's the top of the hour and this is News Night where we go above and beyond the headlines. I'm Rico Hizon. Tonight on the program, more frontliners including news media and the education sector are next in line to get the COVID-19 shot. While President Duterte has been silent on tensions in the West Philippine Sea, a diplomat and defender in the 2016 arbitral ruling says it's now crucial to look into Beijing's patterns in its maritime claims. And the Bayanian spirit lives on. This pantry in Quezon City inspires many to donate and even others to put up their own in their communities. More workers have been added in the essential list for prioritization for vaccination. The Interagency Task Force says the A4 priority group now includes frontline workers in commuter transport, wet and dry markets, food service, news media, education, specific government agencies, and overseas workers. Well, Filipinos are known for their Bayanihan spirit. We've been seeing more of these acts amid the COVID-19 pandemic. People around Metro Manila have started so-called community pantries. Here's one of them, opened by Patricia Non along Maginhawa Street in Quezon City. It has rice, vegetables, and other goods that you can get for free. Well, Non's effort has inspired others, drawing in several donations. There's also a pantry set up along Pinoval Street in Manila, while residents of a barangay in Valenzuela will open one tomorrow. And with this health crisis far from over, it is important we help each other while staying safe. And that's it for this week. I'm Rico Hizon for Newsnight, where we go above and beyond the headlines. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a great weekend, everyone. Good night.